Christine Fair, what's your assessment of this as you watch this? Do you, sense a sen uh, do you get a sense of deja vu or do you believe that the Uri attack is actually a turning point in the way India will deal with Pakistan? So going to your point, I mean, so I'm obviously a hawk. I've been very disappointed with how my country deals with Pakistan and I see a lot of parallels, which is um, we really are in policy lethargy. Uh, policymakers, both in your country and in my country, are very risk averse. They don't want to try something new. Um, I think both of our countries are very much bullied by Pakistan's nuclear weapons program. In all of the decades I spent in Pakistan, I never heard a Pakistani say, you know, we can't dispatch terrorists to India because they have nuclear weapons. But in the Indian discourse, whenever there's any discussion about penalizing them for their terrorism, this is inevitably where it goes. Well, you know they have nuclear weapons. So I, I think that these back channel conversations are really pointless because at the end of the day, Pakistan really only has one tool to engage India, and it uses the same tool to extract money from my country, and that is terrorism under its nuclear umbrella. And at the fundamental core, Pakistan benefits from this because it never it never bears the costs of, of its actions. So from Pakistan's point of view, the very fact that the United Nations is going to be engaged in discussing Kashmir because of this Ori attack actually is a benefit to Pakistan. So which I, is why the attack happened. Which is why the attack happened. And you know, and of course it was also you can I was just when I before I came out here, I was just looking at my watch saying when is the terror attack going to happen? after the Balochistan speech. You'll recall after the Myanmar situation, Pakistan answered that with Gurdaspur, and then Udampur, and then Patan Code. So Pakistan keeps calling this government's bluff. And um, from an outsider, you know, the, the previous government said nothing and did nothing. This government talks a lot, but does nothing. Um, I'm of the belief that your country and my country need to make Pakistan bear the cost of its actions. I was a very strong proponent of cold start. I think India needs to develop um, basically low end of the conflict spectrum means to punish Pakistan. And um, I know so this has generated some controversy in today's uh, uh, news cycle. I would frame this very differently. Uh, India will talk about conventional deterrence. It'll talk about nuclear deterrence. You also need to think about subconventional deterrence. The other thing I just wanted to make very briefly is just a brief intervention on this panacea of diplomatic um, isolation. Remember from 1990 to 2001, Pakistan was thoroughly diplomatically isolated. I mean, they were under numerous American sanctions. Um, we had completely cut off defense ties with them. But during that period of, I would argue, their most intense diplomatic isolation, they were running insurgencies in Afghanistan, Kashmir. the Punjab, and Kashmir. Hmm. So we should not think that just because they are diplomatically isolated that somehow they're going to behave differently.